Hey there, how there, oh, there's Jeff Cutter Diamond. Welcome to another OTP Legends League video. Today is July the 16th, and surprisingly, guess what? There's, what's this? Well, the fact of the matter is there are no games today. Whoops. Too. My apologies. I didn't mean to push that. Yeah, that's just the ticker and all that stuff. There's no games played, so it is a set a a stats day for you. Let's take a look at the stats for the American League and National League. That Lachois leads the um, AL in batting with 385. Ty Cobb second, George Brett third, which is weird because Lachois struggled against Kansas City yesterday. Home runs, Mark McGuire has 43 of them. Jimmy Fox, 35, including one last night in the game of the day. And Bagwell with 30 home runs. RBIs, Jimmy Fox, 102. Mark McGuire, 97. Hank Kreberg's got 93. So Fox looking pretty impressive. If you ask me, I think Fox is the MVP. Stolen bases, Ricky Henderson, another Oakland player. He has 48 steals. Ty Cobb has 46. Roberto Alomar of the 93 Blue Jays has 43. But, you know, Cobb of Detroit, Brett of Kansas City, Bagwell from Houston. Bagwell from the Detroit Legends. OPS on baseball slugging, Jimmy Fox, number one. Ted Williams, number two. George Brett, number three. Winner wins above replacement, Jimmy Fox, number one. Ty Cobb, number two. George Brett, number three. Hitting streak, George Brett has the longest AL streak at 22. Mitch Moreland, 21. Jimmy Collins, 20. ERA, Max Scherzer leads that parade at 2.00. Sakati of the 1917 White Sox, 205. And Jim Bunny, 235. Bunny's got 17 wins already. Holiday, 16. Santana, 15. Well, a lot of these teams have played 105 games. So, you know, you got what you got to do. Strikeouts, Randy Johnson, 171 for Seattle. Noan Santana, second, 158. Max Scherzer, 148. Saves, Hoyt Wilhelm, 32. Betancourt, 31 for Cleveland. Kasasaki, 29. Pitcher wins above replacement. Scherzer 6.0. Furlander 5.0. Waddell 4.8. And winning streak. Tim Wakefield of the Red Sox Legends has won nine straight. Trying to get Jim Benning's streak. National League. The our batting average. Roger Torrance 365. Hamilton 349. And Chuck Klein 342. But that's not the Billy Hamilton we know from the 2000s. This is the Billy Hamilton. 19th century Billy Hamilton. Home runs. Slam and Sammy Sosa with 34. Matt Kemp has 33. Louis Sturgeon has 33, so it's a home run race. RBI Sosa, 99. Helton, 97. Stargell, 87. Sosa's got two-thirds of the Triple Crown, but his batting average is 328, which is not the best. So on bases, Johnny Evers of the 1906 Cubs with 63 of them. Willie Tavares of the 2007 Rockies with 57. And Luis Castillo has 46 for the 97 Marlins. OPS, Slam and Sammy, 1072. Fly to Guerrero, second. Cargo... Carlos Gonzalez third. Wins above replacements, Willie Mays of the Giants Legends, 5.5. Anthony Rendon of the 2019 Nats, 5.3. And Play Guerrero, 5.1. Hitting streak, Mark Grace has the longest in the American League. I mean, National League, sorry. Everyone average. Levon Hernandez of the 97 Marlins, 2.23. He leads Fred Beebe of the 1906 Cubs and Phil Necro of the Braves Legends in that category. Amazing. Phil Necro has 17 wins, though. With Babe Adams, 14. Josh Beckett, 14. Strikeouts, Pedro, 164. Kurt Schilling, 154. Bob Gibson, 148. Saves, Mitch Williams with 31. Steve Farr of the 1906 Cubs. And Eric Gagne of the Dodgers Legends with 28 of them. So, that's huge. Pedro Martinez, Pedro Winsberg, 5.6. Juan Marichal, second. Howie Kinnett's third. And the winning streak, Babe Adams with 14. Street wins. So anyway, let's look at the standing. Let's look at the expanded standings for one second. The New York Yankees of the are leading legends are leading the AL East with 72 wins. Boston six back, and Baltimore is now 15 back, third place. The 2004 Red Sox, 2020 Rays, and the 93 Blue Jays bring up the rear in the division. Vegas Pythagorean is plus two by Boston. They're two above. Whatever. The Yankees minus three. So they are projected to win 75, but they've only won 72. The two most Red Sox won 40 when they're supposed to win 38. Um, no major streaks. 
The AL Central, the White Sox lead Cleveland's Legends by one, with Kansas City's Legends eight back. 84 Tigers, 17 White Sox, and 91 Twins bring up the rear. The 84 Tigers, the best, well, 32 wins by the Pythagorean Theorem. Yeah, the Pythagorean Theorem, Cleveland should be in first instead of the White Sox. And then the 84 Tigers should be last, but they're fourth because the Pythagorean Theorem plus eight, they've been one of the luckiest teams around. The White Sox Legends have won five in a row. The 1917 White Sox have lost six in a row. AL West, Seattle. Leads Oakland by one, with the 1970 Orioles in third place. The Angels Legends have 56 wins. They're fourth in their division. The 70 Orioles have done well. The 2017 Astros and the 2011 Rangers are in the bottom. Orioles with the biggest Pythagorean Fear plus four. They should be only winning 56 games, but yeah, 60. Oakland, for all their hitting exploits, they're only one back of Seattle, but Seattle's in the lead. Four straight wins by Oakland. Seattle's been struggling. Five straight losses by the 2017 Astros. The Ale North, the Tigers, 76 wins. The Blue Jays, 64. The Twins, Legends, 58. Then the 01 Mariners, 27 Yankees, and 20 Indians bring up the rear. The Twins, Legends are a minus eight for Pythagorean. Pythagorean, the 27 Yankees should be third. But yeah, the Twins, Pythagorean should have 66 wins. But they only have 58. The Blue Jays are minus 5. The 27 Yankees are losing more than they should be by proxy. Uh, the AL South, Texas, and Tampa are tied at 65 wins. Houston's got 57 for third. 2 plus 2 Angels, 29 A's, and 30, I mean, 85 Royals bring up the rear. The 2 plus 2 Angels have been the benefit for the Pythagorean Fear. Well, the Pythagorean Fear would have Tampa first, Houston second, and Texas third. Because Tampa by Pythagorean Theorem should have 70 wins and Houston should have 66, so they should be ahead of Texas by proxy. But no, they're that low. Well, the 2002 Angels and the 29 A's have been the biggest beneficials of the Pythagorean Theorem. Well, six game winning streak by Houston. They're trying to catch Texas and Tampa. The NL East. Phillies and Braves are tied at 72 wins. The Mets are third. Three back with the 2019 Nats, 80 Phillies, and 97 Marlins bringing up the rear. By Pythagorean theorem, the Mets would be in first place with 69. Braves would be 68, Phillies 67, so it would be a three-horse race. But it's not based on Pythagorean, and Philly and Atlanta have been the beneficiaries. Six straight wins for the Mets. They're trying to chase. The NL Central, Pittsburgh leads Cincy by four, and the Cubs Legends by nine. The 1960 Pirates, 64 Cardinals, and 82 Brewers bringing up the rear. By Pythagorean, the 82 Brewers should be above the 64 Cardinals. The Pirates and the Cubs legends by Pythagorean should be seven games better than they are now. The 64 Cardinals have lost eight in a row. The NL West, the Dodgers legends lead, are tied with San Francisco, so that's a tie. But the 1906 Cubs in third with 61 wins. The Diamondbacks legends are five games below 500. 2007 Rockies and 54 Giants are above both. Up above it, oh, so much. San Fran should be up by one by Pythagorean Theorem. The Diamondbacks should be above 500, but they're below 500 because of their stupidity. The 2007 Rockies had a 20-game losing streak at one point, but now they've kept winning. The NL North, Washington leads Milwaukee by five with the 86 Mets in third place for 55 wins. The Rockies legends are three games below 500. The 55 Dodgers are two back, and the 75 Reds are six back in that part. The Rockies should be third, but they're losing more. The Brooklyn Dodgers have been benefactors more. Six straight wins by those pesky, six straight losses by the Rockies. Brewers are catching the Nationals, in a sense. And the NL South, St. Louis leads Miami and San Diego by three. With the 2001 Diamondbacks, 98 Padres, 57 Braves, bring up the rear by Pythagorean. That's about the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever. All right. So we got that. I sub league. The 70 Orioles are the top seasonal team with 60 wins. Second is the 2017 Astros with 48. And third place is the 2002 Angels with 45. The National League, the top seasonal team, the 1906 Cubs have 61 wins. The 86 Mets have 55. And the 55 Dodgers have 49. Yeah, got that. The lowest, the Angels are the worst All Star team with 56 wins. 
the Diamondbacks with 50 wins are the worst in the National League. We look at that. The 82 Brewers, 29 wins. The 93 Blue Jays and the 64 Cardinals are tied for second last. So let's look at the wild card hunt. Detroit, Seattle, Yankees, Chicago, and Texas would be top five, meaning that it would be White Sox, Texas to face each other off, four versus five. Oakland would get in as the sixth seed to face the Yankees. Boston would get in at number seven to face the Mariners. And then there's a fight between Cleveland, Texas, and Tampa that would face Detroit. But yeah, Cleveland's tied, right? Or no. Wait, Texas is Texas and Tampa are tied. Yeah, Texas and Tampa are tied. So yeah, Texas and Tampa are tied for the lead. So I think it would be probably Cleveland and Tampa. Toronto's only one back. The 70 Orioles are only five back. That's pretty good. Meanwhile, the NL, Dodgers, Phillies, Nats, Carts, and Pirates. So it would be St. Louis, Pittsburgh, first round, four versus five. Dodger, well, the Giants right now are losing the NL West. They would be number six and would face Washington. The Braves are losing the NL East. They're number seven. They would face the Phillies. And the Mets would be number eight and face the Dodgers. A five-game lead in the wild card over Milwaukee, six over the Marlins and Padres. And it helps that the Mets have won six in a row. So, yeah, so, yeah, no seasonal team would be there. The 1906 Cubs are eight back in the wild card. The 1970 Orioles are five back. Well, let's just take a look at the division the leaders. The Tigers, 76 and 29. Got all of that. They are number one in... Number one runs against starters ERA looking good. FIP and pitching war, they're number one. So Detroit looked good. Cobb, Heilman, Greenberg, Cash, Kaline, Evans, Trammell, uh, sorry, Whitaker, and Freehand are your primary lineup, your rotation for Furlander, Scherzer, Bunning, Newhouser, and Moores, all with 10 wins. Pretty good. Great pitching by the bullpen, except for Danny McLean. His ERA is suspect, and so is Samaya's. On the injured list, Charlie Geringer is out for five months, so he is practically out for the year. So, yeah, he was doing decent. And so the Tigers have had to use Lou Whitaker at second base and Norm Cash there. The Mariners, um, number one in strikeouts. They're a great pitching team. All that. Suzuki Pacherek, Tom Pacherek, the new left fielder. I think there's a massive injury. Well, anyway, Edgar Martinez at third, A-Rod, Ken Phelps, Jay Buhner, Brett Boone, Dan Wilson, and Mike Cameron are your leaders. Pitching-wise, Hernandez, Ken Phelps, Iwakuma, Langston, Hanson's the new number four, and J.B. Moore number five. I think there's some injuries, right? Yeah, Randy Johnson's strained triceps. He's out for a few weeks, so the Mariners have had to adjust without Randy Johnson, the flamethrower. Dave Fowl with the post-concussion syndrome out six to seven months. So he's out for the foreseeable future till February and a few weeks for Griffey Jr. So Seattle will have to make do without the Pirate Folk and Griffey Jr. Yankees legends. Number one in zone rating. Their starters, Garrick, Manley, Roof, Mano, DiBaggio, Canu, Dickey, Peckinpah, and Nettles. Their rotation, Guitry, Ruffing, Ford, Roof, and Pettit. Doing pretty well for themselves. Injured list, nobody. So the Yankees looking pretty good. Everyone is healthy. The White Sox legends. Um, decent and all that. With Collins, Appling, Shoeless, Joe, Thomas, Konerko, Ventura, Seavers, Persinski, and Mostel being the main starters. Rotation. Walsh, Sale, McDowell, Sakati in favor. Not half bad. Could be worse. Could be better. Injured list? Nobody. So the White Sox are quite healthy. The Texas Legends? Number one in home runs, so they could put the moonshot in. Nelly Cruz, Mike Young, Josh Hamilton, Frank Howard, Rafi Palmero, Juan Gonzalez, Pudge, Buddy Bell, and Woody Held being the main guys. Fergie, Huh, Kenny Rogers, and Dick Bosman with CJ Wilson. Well, because Nolan Ryan is out for for the foreseeable future. So, yeah, imagine if Nolan Ryan was healthy. And I remember that. Yep, fractured elbow. He will be out till October. And I don't think Texas will be around in October. 
So yeah, they acted you without knowing. The Dodgers legends were doing the division leaders. Robinson, Kemp, Herman, Snyder, Garvey, Hodges, Guerrero, Pedro Guerrero, that is. Roy Campanella and Pee Wee Reese. Their five starters, all with at least 10 wins. Colfax, Nomo, Kershaw, Venezuela, and Dazzy Fans. Despite Bill Russell being out with a broken kneecap, not the NBA legend, but the shortstop for the Dodgers. He was doing quite well for the Dodgers. And yet he had to go out in the show for practically for the season. The Phillies. Uh, a lot of things. Uh, you got Hamilton, O'Doul, Klein, Schmidt, Howard mm -hmm. Delahunty. Amen. Okay. Delahunty, Roman, Roland, Bancroft, and Lieberfall. With P. Alexander, Carlton, Robin Roberts, Chris Short, schooled by Rowe, now being the new number five because of an injury. Sorry, injured list. So Cole Hamels is out, shoulder inflammation. He's out till November. Worst part, he was 6-2. and two. So Hamels was a decent pitcher for Philly. And Ron Reed's out 10 tonight for a few weeks. But yeah, the Phillies lose Cole Hamels, who was pitching quite well. The Nats, number one in strikeouts. They like to throw strikeouts. Pedro Strasburg, Dennis Martinez, Gio Gonzalez, Pascal Perez, a pretty good front five. For pitching, Reigns, Soriano, Guerrero, Dawson, Nick Johnson, Carter, Staub, Wallach, and Huey Brooks. Your primary lineup, organization, injured list. Jordan Zimmerman out six months with a radical nerve thing. That kind of is for the best. I mean, let's face it, I don't think he probably would have... He wasn't really that good pitching and all that. So, Washington, he can be forgiven. Uh, St. Louis... Number one in batting average, number one in nine base percentage in the National League. Ozzy, Hornsby, Mize, Pujols, Medwick, Hafey, McKee, Torrey, and Pendleton being your primary lineup. Gibson, Dean, Tudor, and Carpenter being their Max Laners, the new number five because of an injury to Adam Wainwright, who's out with a bicep tendon. He's out till January. So Wainwright was 10 and 3. That's the worst injury. Well, Hamels, you can be forgiven, but Wainwright was 10 and 3. When he got hurt. And the Cardinals had a decent pitcher in Wainwright. Ken Boyer's out for a week. Stan Musial, they'll still, they still don't know about a strained ab muscle. How long he'll be out for. That's going to be the hard part. And he's played 58 games. He has been hurt this season. So Musial hasn't been healthy. That's the worst part. Because Stan Musial is an icon. And the Pirates? Well, they're number one in bullpen URA. You got Clemente, Arkey, Stargell, Kiner, Bay, Lloyd Wainer, Kendall, Triner, and Mazeroski. The main lineup, Kemnitz, Candelaria, Tenon Hill, Drayback, and Babe Adams. Pitching, injured list. Oh, they're hitters. Honus Wagner will be back in a few weeks' time. So, yeah, Honus Wagner, hopefully he's okay. Andrew McCutcheon, broke a bone in the elbow, out for the year. He was doing well. 58 RBIs. McCutcheon was doing pretty well. Dave Parker... Torn ACL, he's out five months. He was doing quite well. So the outfielders, Pittsburgh's lost two great outfielders, McCutcheon and Parker. Well, they have six outfielders. at Bay, Kiner, Fence, like Lloyd Wainer, Clemente, and, and Paul Wainer. I think Lloyd and Fence, like, have had to technically step up, step up and play for them. So, so we'll see what happens without McCutcheon and Parker for Pittsburgh if they can make the playoffs. Uh, making the wild card. Oakland would make the wild card. You see their lineup and all that. Number one in a lot of batting stuff in the American League. Pitching, not so much. But anyway, yeah. Grove, Waddell, Bender, Plank, and Blue. Five, ten game winners. So they would make the playoffs. That's the sixth seed. With Henderson, Lechua, Fox, McGuire, Jackson, Simmons, Chavez, Tejada, and Steinbach being the main lineup. Jason Giambi has a spring knee. He's out for a month and a half. Guy got 18 home runs, so basically you're crushing your offense. Boston would make the playoffs too. With Clemens, Smokey Joe, Young, Wakefield, and Lester pitching. Tim Wakefield, baby. Speaker, Garcia Parra. Ted Williams, Jim Rice, Mo Vaughn, Fred Lynn, Dustin Pedroia, Carlton Fisk, and Jimmy Collins, your main stuff injured list. 
big poppy out six months from a torn ACL. I think he injured early in the year, but yeah, big poppy's bat not there for Boston. Like he, he's out for the year. And Cleveland would sneak in, I believe. Got Gaylord Perry, Sabathia Feller, Lee, and McDowell being your main starting lineup. Sizemore, Morgan, Ramirez, Bell, Colavito, Biagra, Rosen, Sewell, and O'Neill being the stars. I think they have injuries too. Yep, they have injuries. Boudreaux will be out for only a few more days, so Cleveland can survive without him. Earl Avril and Larry Doby are out for a week. Avril playing 31 games, Doby playing 39 games, so those should be okay. And Kenny Lofton will be back, back spasms, so. In three weeks. So Cleveland, once they get those guys back, should be okay. They're they're operating with five outfielders. Bell, Sizemore, Chu, Colavito, and Ramirez. I think Sizemore and Chu are basically placeholders until they can get those guys back. So yeah, so Cleveland doing their job. Los Angeles, San Francisco would get in. Matthewson, Marshall, Jason Schmidt, 7-3, Hubble, and Lincecum. Being those guys, Robbie Thompson, Terry, Mays, Bonds, McCovey, Mitchell, Ott, Posey, and Jackson being the main guys. Injured list, nobody. So the Giants are confident. They don't have injuries. Phillies and Braves, the Braves would make it the seventh seed. Maddox, Necro, Spawn, Miller, and Glavin. Great pitching, especially Necro. Giles, Cardi, Chipper, Matthews, Adcock, Justice, Javi, Furcal, and Andrew Jones are your main roster. With Hank Aaron, broken bone in the elbow, out for six months. That hurts. 46 RPS in 49 games, and he's out. So Atlanta will have to do without Hank Hammer and Hank Aaron. And he's a legend. Rico Cardi's had to step up in his experience. And the Mets would also make it in. Good and Seaver, Dickey, Conan Fernandez with right Hernandez. Keith Hernandez out of Piazza Strawberry, Kent, Bonilla, Cleon, Ashburn, and Harrelson. Your main lineup. Injured list? Nobody. So that's all. We will continue on to the next day. Any news we need to know? Up, oh, Greg Vaughn will be out for three weeks with a strained hip muscle. 16 home runs by the guy. So the Rays are going to be without him for three weeks. Dave Martinez is out for practically the entire year with a fractured ankle. So that was a huge blow to Tampa's defense. Vaughn and Martinez. They have five um, outfielders. Crawford, Baldelli, Upton, Wynn, and Canseco. So, yeah, Greg Vaughn will be out for three weeks. So, Tampa will have to try to soldier on. 20 soldiers. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.